Hi, I'm Chris on Robot Dad One's channel, and I'm here to talk about my new podcast. On YouTube, they're pushing podcasts, and I can change some of my previous walkthroughs, etc., to a podcast, which I have done. But I would like a space where I can actually talk to you about D and D, and have you talk back and educate me. That would be the ideal thing. I'm going to put some of my previous interviews with D and D creators and future ones. But as I say, I would like to be able to talk to the community and have them respond and say their thoughts. So current topics in the D&D News Forum area are the new Player's Handbook, Monster Manual and Dungeon Master's Guide. Now, obviously I have the first three from 2014, as no doubt most of you do. And there's some confusion, isn't there, about what is going to be in there. Even though Chris Perkins came online talking to Todd Kenrick and said these are the chapters and there's going to be a better way of making it because even though I was on board in making the first one mistakes were made and then he listed things that was wrong with the DMG and yeah it sounded ridiculous why would you put dice near the end of the book and world building at the beginning and and why can't people find firearms easily in the DMG there are a lot of various rules that are hidden in there. It's a good book when you actually go through page by page, like underwater combat. It took me a while to realise, oh yeah, that's got rules. Obviously, you can make them up at the table, but there were in there. Now, the confusion is maybe just with me, where it was a case of, this is still 5e, so it's not a complete rules overhaul, and yet the books will be thicker and have these new rules, some of them brought in from Tasha's, um, Xanathar's, whatever. So, you know, some straight up poached from other works of their own. But there's the question raised of, well, do we need the new books? And you would think, well, no, it's just tweaks. We can, we can get our heads around these little new tweaks. But then the way they push it on the other hand is that it's a complete overhaul and it's going to be packed with new things. So. You do need it. And I'll buy it. I'll, I'll buy all three. It's weird that the Monster Manual is the better of those three releases. And yet they're tweaking that as well. So of course I'll end up getting that. But at the end of the day, look, we'll have a new one and an old one. We'll have nothing will be deleted. It's all there. It's just more information and more goodness to, to mum over. And I am ultimately a little bit disappointed that we're not getting anything newer than a 5e. It's not going to be an overhaul for like 6e. Because if what they called 1D and D initially, the new sort of phase, if that is just 5e, then we've got Tales from the Valiant, which I don't like the name of, but that's 5e with a, t a tiny twist. So that's, that's 5e, 1D and D 5e, Valiant 5e. Do we need that much 5e? What's Matthew Colville's going to be? What's anyone else's who's creating their own rule set going to be? If it's just 5e, I don't know. It's going to be a bit of an overcrowded area. But ultimately, I'm excited. I love new stuff. I love all the indie stuff. It's just, I'd rather be buying something completely new. I didn't buy that Monsters of the Multiverse, was it? Where they just took bits from other books and put it in one. I drew the line there. Now, I wasn't around before 5e. I, I did play the original Red Box in the 80s at school in, in 1985 and I did get it for Christmas but I had nobody to play it with. It was a bit too much reading for me at the time. And then 2018 I discovered it in my local game shop and we've gone both feet in me and my son and now, now friends around me. So yes, I'm on board but I missed out on all the editions and the transitions between editions along the way. So I'm eager to find out, some of you old schoolers, what it was like, what the issues were. Have you seen all this before? And just think, well, this is just how it goes. Some will like it, some will and some will just deal with whatever's given to them. I know that they seem to be churning out many more books now that it's Hasbro ultimately running the shots. And it's good and it's bad. They come out quite fast towards the last half of the year. And yes, it is possible to wait and get them at a cheap price, ultimately. But by the time you've waited for that next book that you haven't got, another eight have come out. And as a D&D &D creator in the space, I want to be kind of at the forefront 
to have any chance of having value for the viewer, such as yourself. Anyway, get in touch, get the ball rolling. What do you struggle with in D&D? What are your thoughts on the changes? Are you excited? Etc. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you in another video.